We're going to talk about, yes, it does have to do with when you start, okay? So we're going to find what we call coterminal angles, but before we can do that, we've got to talk about the standard position of an angle, okay? So in the coordinate plane, all the angles that we've dealt with have just been kind of floating around in free space, you know, like in a circle, there's no specific starting or ending point, it just depends on how the diagram is drawn. But when we put these angles in the coordinate plane, there's a specific place where we have to start. And then from that starting point is um, how we determine what the angle is. So positive angles, which is what we're used to, they're measured starting on the positive x-axis. All Every single time our angles will always, always, always begin on the positive x-axis. That's always where we begin. Uh, measuring our angles. We start there and we rotate counterclockwise. We go counterclockwise. So we start here and we go counterclockwise. That would be the positive angle. So to me that looks like about a 140 degree angle right there. Okay, um, because I haven't run all the way to a straight line. I'm past 90. I'm not quite halfway there. I'm a little bit beyond halfway between 90 and 180. So I'm going to say it's, that's 140 degrees. Now, we can also name this exact same angle using a negative angle. We start on the positive x-axis. We still start in the same place, but we rotate clockwise. So we end up in the exact same place, but this would be the angle negative 220 degrees. Put this together, this would make six right? So it's the exact same angle. That's why it's called coterminal. Terminal means where you end up. So co means the same. So we end up in the same place, but we've just measured it in two different directions. That's why it has two different names. Okay? It's like the difference between calling me Miss Redmond and Coach Red. I'm still the same person, but it's in different contexts. Same thing here. Positive angle, negative angle. Same angle, just different direction, um, but you measured it. <clears throat> so there's the definition for coterminal angles. And angles can have measures greater than 360 degrees. So on this same illustration here, I could start on the positive x-axis. I could go all the way around, hit 360 degrees, and then stop where I stopped before. I'm still ending up in the same place, but that would be, what, uh, 500 degrees? Because I went all the way around 360, and then I went an additional 140, but I'm still in the exact same place. Okay? Those three measures, even though they look very, very different, all describe the exact same angle. 140 degrees, negative 220 degrees, and 500 degrees all describe the exact same angle. Just different ways of measuring. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the reason why we need stuff like this is because, I don't know, think about things in the real world that rotate, okay? They don't just rotate one time around and they stop. They rotate more than one time and uh, they rotate in different directions, so that's why we need these conventions, okay? All right, so let's use this idea of finding coterminal angles. So we can find them whether they're in degrees or we can find them if they're in radians. So if we're trying to find negative coterminal angles, the easiest thing to do is to subtract 360 degrees if it's in degrees. So negative 10 degrees here would be one negative coterminal angle. And if I subtract 360 degrees again, negative 370 degrees would be another negative coterminal angle. Okay, so those are two negative coterminal angles. Yes, sir. You're just rotating around more than one time. Do the gears in a car only rotate one 
rotation. Yeah, you. I mean, you could do this infinitely many times. Yes. It just keeps going and keeps going. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, technically, what negative five hundred and thirty would be another acceptable answer. Yes, sir. We'll get to some real world applications after we get this done. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so now, gradients. Grad it's not hard, okay? Yes, you could convert it to degrees, but it's more trouble than it's worth, okay? So if we subtract 360 degrees from the degree measurement, what should we subtract from the radian measurement? Too high. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this without a calculator because down the road some of you are going to be asked to do this without a calculator, so you got to know how to do this. So since they both have pi, we're just going to ignore the pi for a second. Okay, we're going to ignore the pi for a second. So we've got 8 over 7 minus, we need to express 2 so that it has a denominator of 7. So what would that be? 14 over 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So again, we just, we haven't changed the number. It's still 2. We just put it in a form that's useful to us. So negative 6 over 7 is one negative coterminal angle. And while I've got it in this form, I'm just going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to subtract 14 over 7, so I get negative 20 over 7. So my two negative coterminal angles are negative 6 pi over 7 and negative 20 pi over 7. When it's in radians, if you get a denominator that is different than the original denominator, you didn't do something right. Okay? If you get a denominator other than the original denominator, finding coterminal angles, you did something wrong. Go back and check your work. So I left you a little space over there if you want to write a reminder how to find negative coterminal angles, you subtract 360. <clears throat> if it's in degrees or if it's in radians, uh, drop the pi, subtract 2, turn it into a fraction, put the pi back in there. Now, I showed you how to do it without a calculator. The reality is, on your final exam, on my test, you always have your calculator. But again, I'm just showing you this for future reference. My calculus kids struggle with fractions all the time, so I'm just trying to help with that problem sooner rather than later. <clears throat> okay? So, if we need to find coterminal angles, positive coterminal angles, then we're just going to do the opposite. We're going to add it instead of subtracting it. Duh, right? So this time I'm starting with a um, radian. Couldn't think of the word. Starting with radian. So negative 5 over 3, I need to express 2 so that it's over 3. So that would be 6 over 3. So negative 5 plus 6 is 1. And I add it again. So I get 7 over 3. So my two positive coterminal angles are pi over 3 and 7 pi over 3. The exact same angles. Well, this one said 2 positive, so it's. Mm -hmm. So we're finding positive, so we need to add this time, and it has a denominator of 3, so 6 over 3 equals 2, so we're adding 2 pi. Mm -hmm. Were you okay when I subtracted it? 
This is the same thing. This time my denomination is 3. So 6 over 3 equals 2. Whereas 14 over 7 equals 2. It's just got to have the same denominator as the, as the angle you started with. We're going to do more. We're going to do more. All right. Uh, here's a degree one. Negative 265. We're going to add 360. What is that? 95? Okay. And add 360 again. So 455. Yes. So 95 degrees and 455 degrees. So to find positive coterminal angles, you add 360 degrees. Or subtract 2 pi. I'm not going to write it out like I did the first time, but same process still applies. Okay. But the biggest thing people struggle with the, with the radians is they want to keep the pi in there, and then your calculator doesn't handle it well. So just drop the pi, deal with the fractions, write the pi back in your final answer. Okay. All right. Now, just because I didn't want to waste another sheet of paper, I've got a few more examples. You've got some blank space there on your paper. We can fill them in. Okay. Now, this addresses Taylor's question. Okay. Taylor said, well, what if um, you start to, to do it and you don't, if you start with a negative angle and you add 360 and you don't get a positive number, or you're going to keep doing it. Okay. So, this example says find a positive and a negative coterminal angle for each of the following. So, for each of them, we're going to add and subtract. So if we start with 30 degrees, uh, the positive coterminal angle would be 390, or we could add 360 again if you really wanted to. The negative would be negative 330. Now, negative 450 degrees, negative 450 degrees is more than one rotation. It's bigger than 360. So when we add 360, it's still going to be a negative angle. So there's our negative coterminal angle. And we add 360 again. And 270 is a positive. Now, you could have also subtracted 360 to get a different negative coterminal angle. Negative 810 is also acceptable. Yes, ma'am? the first ones you get to. <clears throat> now the answer key would probably like if negative 450 was one of your questions it's probably going to have these two answers. Okay. Negative 810 is correct. You're just going to have to you know, check with somebody beside you or ask me um, if, if that one also applies. Okay. Same thing happens with 22 pi over 3. 22 pi over 3 is bigger than 360 or bigger than 2 pi, so we're going to have to do it a couple of times. I'm just going to use my calculator here. 22 over 3 minus 2, okay, 16 over 3, okay, that is a coterminal angle. If I do it again, 10 over 3, 4 over 3, there we go, finally got one. So any of these work, 16 pi over 3, 10 pi over 3, you don't have to list all of them, I'm just showing you that all of these work. And negative 2 pi over 3, we finally got to a negative. No, we didn't have to add to get a positive in this case. Just like technically we didn't have to subtract to get a negative in the one before it. Okay? Um, negative 7 pi over 6, let's do one more by hand. Negative 7 over 6. Plus, this time would we, we would be adding 12 over 6. 12 over 6 is equal to 2. So negative 7 plus 12 is 5 pi over 6. That would be our positive. If we subtract it, our negative would be negative 19 pi over 6. Again, you can use your calculator. It's just, it's really good practice. If you're planning on going to AP Calculus, I highly suggest practicing these skills now. Get used to doing as much adding and subtracting as you can without a calculator, especially with angles, because it comes back. 